Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at the difference between micro and macroeconomics. With that said, let's get into it. So picture this, you're standing in line at your favorite coffee shop and you're deciding whether to splurge on that pumpkin spice latte for $6 or just grab a plain black coffee for $3. Meanwhile, across town, policymakers are debating how interest rates might slow down inflation for the entire country. Two totally different decisions, but both fall under the world of economics. So what's the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics? Well, let's break it down. Let's start small, literally. Microeconomics is about the individual pieces of the economy. Think of it like zooming in with a microscope. The types of questions you might ask are, why do people choose one product over another? How do businesses decide how much to produce? Or what happens to prices when supply goes up but demand falls? Micro looks at households, businesses, and specific markets. It's personal. It's the economics of you and me. Now let's zoom out. Macroeconomics is the big picture. It's looking at the economy as a whole. And instead of asking why one person buys coffee, macroeconomics might ask questions such as, why is the national unemployment rate rising? What causes inflation? And how can the government spending or interest rates steer the entire economy? Macro looks at concepts such as GDP, unemployment, inflation, economic growth, and big trends that shape entire nations. Here's a really good analogy that helps you to picture this. Microeconomics is like studying the trees. Yet if you zoom out, macroeconomics is like studying the entire forest. Both matter because without trees, there is no forest, but only focusing on the forest, you might miss what's happening to each individual tree. And here's the cool part. The two are deeply connected. Millions of tiny individual decisions, micro decisions, add up to create those massive national trends, which are macro topics. So for example, if millions of people decide to save money instead of spending it, that's a micro choice that on scale can trigger a slowdown in overall economic growth, which is a macro outcome. So if you've been paying attention, here's a really quick quiz. I'm going to give you a scenario and you're going to tell me, is it micro or macro? Scenario one, a farmer decides to plant corn instead of soybeans this season. Scenario two, the government reports that inflation hit 4% this year. Scenario three, Apple lowers the price of iPhones to attract more buyers. And finally, scenario four, the unemployment rate rises during a recession. Drop your answers in the comments. Let's see who got these ones right. I will pin the correct answers to the top. Now, if you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.